Welcome to Mount Gerizim. Here in the Samaritan community happened today a terror attack first time ever. What happened? Yeah, apparently an hour ago there was um, a Palestinian that shot uh, towards a police, uh, Israeli police car that uh, was parked in front of the Samaritan uh, supermarket here. Um, no one got uh, hit, uh, but there was some glass broken by the supermarket, so some bullets did go through the supermarket. Um, and, you know, things are very stressful right now in the neighborhood because it, this, this has not happened ever, really. Some shots has been has happened like a few years ago, but that was outside the neighborhood, close to it. But this is like really in the center of it, and uh, a peop uh, the police uh, and the army are all over the the mountain right now. Uh, they don't know who shot or where is he or anything. Um, some cameras did show some of the footage of what happened. Apparently, he went towards Na uh, Nablus or something. Um, uh, you know, it is pretty concerning because. We, we have really good relationships with both sides, the Israelis and the Palestinians. So uh, his intentions, I'm sure, are, were not really against the Samaritans. But at the same time, you know, the, it's a dangerous situation all over. And uh, people here are, like, starting to think, oh, wow, like, it, it could have been me behind this, uh, you know, broken glass or something like that. So this is why people are stressed out. My mother even heard it uh, really close. Uh, she didn't believe this was this close because it was really near my house, near our, her house. Um, and now, you know, now people are trying to comprehend what what's happening really. Uh, you know, things has been really stressful throughout all of the of the of the land. You know, in, in Samaria, Judea, and all over. Uh, and now to see it really close in front of us here, it's. Um, no, like, the, there's no words to describe what's been happening. Samaritans here moved from Nablus about 30, 40 years ago because we used to have a small neighborhood in Nablus. And then when we started to grow, we wanted to st stay together. We wanted to, uh, you know, we don't want to spread all over. So we had to take a choice. We made the choice to move here. Now there's about 420, 430 Samaritans living in this neighborhood. And politically also, it's interesting here that it, because it's, you know, you will see Israelis and Palestinians come here. You'll see Israeli cars, you'll see Palestinian cars. It's, it's one of those few points in the Holy Land where both Israelis and Palestinians can meet. And yeah, we, we still don't really understand exactly the intention of what happened, but thankfully no one was hurt.